Hey y'all, Jay Scarry is back, so is for the documentary. Um, it's only a little sneak, sneak peek preview. So, um, in case if Stephen Murphy is watching this anyway, because I need to tell about the documentary. Um, I'm doing the best as I can to work this on. To be honest, um, I like I don't know what to do. To be honest, um. I just want to be out there and show the world who I am, who the killer Kelly is, and the hustler. <laughs> Two nicknames. Um, let's say, um, I don't know how emotional I am. When, when I did the Jiu-Jitsu, it experienced what I really learned in that. I love it so much. I'm not just only this, you know, I'm, spe I'm special needs. I think you need to know who I am and you need to appreciate it. Like, it just can't laugh at their culture or their religion or what's wrong with them. The reason I may be doing it because the MMA saw this Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey made a name for herself and what she has done for UFC and then same with the WWE. Um, I'm not going to quite tell, but I'm just going to sit down because I don't know what to say. Like, it's hard to put the effort in. Like, I mean, I don't know what to say, guys, but. This is me, this is the real world, this is just journey, it's based on my documentary anyway, like guys. Anyway guys. Um You know, I can't touch the face either with the bars. I have to go out there and compete in competitions when everything goes back to normal over the COVID-19 and doing a bit of wrestling. The reason I, I love wrestling is because I grew up watching the sport. It's one of the best sports you can ever watch. I love all the drama of them doing it. They're, they're funny. But I'm after like got a big shock because of Becky Lynch announcing her pregnancy. When I watched that part, I got really emotional and I was bawling. And um, I want to really want to congratulate Becky for that. She's going to be a fabulous mother to her child. I heard that she's a good cook. But for me, like, I was fat. But then, I'm not fat no more. You see, back in school, I got in loads of fights. I got in trouble a few times, but look, it's normal, to be honest. And that's why I lived about my weight. And I started to be Muslim. I lost a lot of weight from that. From doing the Muslim actually, it's, it helped me to build up my confidence. Like when I was seventeen years old, I was diagnosed with autistic, which I didn't know of. I was shy in the art. I did have friends, but I wasn't really talkative. Like, you see, you have to be in the real world, even though if bullies are bullying another person, it's their mental health. Mental health is a big serious problem for people who are suffering with that. And it's completely hard for them because they think that it's the person's problem. It's not. It's the, the people who have mental health. That's their own problem. And taking it out on someone trying to buy bullying them, which is not a nice thing. Um, so it's a tough decision for people who's getting bullied in and out, including online. If someone's bullying someone online, if you have nothing nice to say, guys, just don't say it at all because you are like trying to get yourself into trouble and you're trying to upset this person and that person might make up for help because you're bullying them online which is not a good idea you need to stop with the bullying because it's, it's their mental health basically um because it can cause depression anxiety oh let's see yeah my little panic attack um yeah you got you see this is this is part of bullying parts you know um it's not a nice thing to do guys but um I'm just looking 
for it now to um to take part over in Jiu Jitsu and especially judo. The reason I want to take up judo is because you know I can take that abroad into the Special Olympics because for people with special needs they go into that sport, they go into the Special Olympics. Even if you're special needs, you can don't have to go into the Special Olympics. You can also go into the normal Olympic Games if you want to represent in your own town, represent in your country actually be a great opportunity and that's kind of it guys you know um remember to swipe up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to get notifications from my channel and that was a little sneak preview of face to fair documentary and yeah that's not it guys so thanks